when he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love, something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What that boy felt at that moment was that in his presence of the only woman in his life, in that, with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and future become unimportant. There is only that moment and that incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that invokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have meaning. <coughs> In the years you've known each other, from the moment you met to the moment you decided to stand up here together, you've been making promises and agreements in informal ways. All of those conversations that were held riding the 6th train from 86th Street, or over a meal, or during walks around the city with RJ taking his amazing photos, all of those sentences that began with, when we're married, continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. Just two people working out what they want, what they believe, and what they hope for. All these common little things are the real process of a marriage. The vows that you take today are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised? Well, I meant them all, every single word. Our second reading this evening is I Will Be Here by Stephen Curtis Chapman, read by Kendall's Uncle Dave. If in the morning when you wake, if the sun does not appear, I will be here. If in the dark you lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear, I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet. When you need to speak your mind, I will listen. Through the winning, losing, and trying, we'll be together, and I will be here. If in the morning when you wake, if the future is unclear, I will be here. As sure as seasons were made for change, our lifetimes were made for years, I will be here. I will be here, and you can cry on my shoulder, when the mirror tells, tells us we're older. I will hold you, and watch you grow with you, and tell you all the things you are to me. We'll be together, and I will be here. I will be true to the promises I've made, to you, and to the one who gave you to me. <laughs> These are the hands of your best friend, holding yours as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch, comfort you like love. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eye, tears of both sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will lift your chin to look in your eyes with overwhelming love. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken love with just a touch. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before today, you've been many things to one another, acquaintances, colleagues, friends, dance partners, flabongo drinkers, travel companions, and even teachers, because undoubtedly you've learned so much from one another. You've learned that good company and friendship count for more than wealth, damn good looks, or titles. And you've learned that marriage is a maze into which you'll wander, a maze that has best gotten through with a great companion. Now you'll say a few words that will take you across the goal line, and things will never quite be the same. After these vows, you shall say to the world, RJ is my husband, and Kendall is my wife. Kendall, you take RJ to live together in union of marriage, to take him as your husband and as your best friend, to honor him, cherish him, and love him. From this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, 
in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live. I do. RJ, do you take Kendall to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your wife and as your best friend, to honor her, cherish her, and love her from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> a circle or a ring is frequently used as a symbol of eternity, and in this case, the unbroken circle of love. Your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond, which already unites your hearts. Love freely given has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver. For each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows that you've taken today. Kendall, please place your hand on RJ's hand and repeat after me. I, Kendall, take you, RJ. I, Kendall, take you, RJ. To be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. To be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best days and the worst. Through the best days and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I give you my hand to hold. As I give you my hand to hold. So I give you my life and my heart to keep. So I give you my life and my heart to keep. RJ, please place the ring on Kendall's finger and repeat after me. I, RJ, take you, Kendall. I, RJ, take you, Kendall. To be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. To be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. Through the best days and the worst. Through the best days and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life and my heart to keep. I give you my life and my heart to keep. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you're surrounded by enduring love. Well. RJ and Kendall, take this one last chance to recall the moments in your life that have led you to this point. All the smiles, all the meticulous plans that went awry, and the happy accidents that got you back on course. While the words you have spoken have solidified the foundation for your marriage, it's the smashing of the glass, an old Jewish tradition that truly seals your spiritual union. For those of you unfamiliar with this Jewish ritual, or even the fact that Jewish, uh, Kendall's actually part Jewish, <laughs> the message of Mazel Tov, the Hebrew words of congratulations and good luck are shouted. The sound of the glass breaking is also a signal saying, let's